when Floyd goes in for the knockout, knocks this dude out. Like, I don't think it'll be satisfying for Floyd to win by decision. He needs to knock this guy out and shut up all the haters. No, we'll, we'll see. And he's going to be cautious. He's always cautious. Yeah, that's the thing, Doug. By him going in like that and exerting that much energy, he's going to open himself up to a fight. But, you don't want to. You don't want to get into a fight with this dude. Why, but 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 why do you say he doesn't want to get a fight with this dude when he's been in a fight with the greatest boxers of all times? That's, that's very true. And it survived. That's very true. Like we got this image of this McGregor guy, like he's no, I just think like he's, he's a, super tough or he's yes. really a great boxer. Super, he's not super, either. But super tough, yes. I think super tough, yes. I do. I don't know. I think that's a lot of show. Okay. I think that he's bullshitting. You know, he's a he's a peacock. You know, throwing his feathers out or whatever. Well, listen, a lot of talk, screaming. I I was a tad bit more concerned until they started showing this last week's sparring match with him shadowing himself in the ring. Mm-hmm. It looked like a peacock for real, just running around, jumping around this ring. Right. He's not going to connect one punch on Floyd Mayweather. That shit ain't going to no mean way. nothing. All no. of that screaming and. No. He's talking about he's going to knock him out one round. Ain't none of that shit going to matter when yeah. they get in the ring. Yeah. Got to find a place to watch it, though, because I'm not going to pay for it at my house. Right. Oh, I am. I'm not either. Got to find a place to watch it. Yeah. I'm not either. Uh, I did want to ask you a question, man, before you get out of here. Uh-huh. Before we get out of here. Hey, man, I can't thank everybody enough for hanging out for an hour with your boy. Next week, next Thursday, we'll be back on. Back to this trade with Kyrie. With this new team, do you agree there's added depth for Cleveland? Mm, yeah, they get Jameson Crowder in the deal. He's a good defensive player. He can shoot the three. Um, yeah, they, they get. I think they get Andre better. Zizek. Right. Uh, you still got Love. Right. Isaiah Thomas. Right. Uh, what can this team, in your eyes, do against the Warriors? Nothing. Same thing happened last year. It'll be four games to one. That's it. Maybe they'll get one game. I mean, the Warriors, man, if they keep the core group of players that they got right now, there's no reason they should lose. They shouldn't have lost two years ago, even though Cleveland came back and won from three games to one. That was the the, the, the old boy got kicked out. Uh, Oh, oh, Draymond Green. Draymond. That was the Draymond situation. He got kicked out. Yeah, Brandon Peters yesterday was uh, talking about they would have won if they – you can't just go around letting people kick you in your testicles and – and and also nothing but love to my man BP. That's the reminder to go get my kids. You know, I would, uh-huh. I would probably forget on certain days if that alarm didn't go off like that. Damn. Yeah, it's 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 kind of you. Bad. You only got one set of kids to go pick up from school. <laughs> For real? Is that another one of those jokes? No, huh? no, I'm I'm serious. That, so in the chat room, they're all laughing now in the chat room. Right? No, no. But Doug just got him again. <laughs> Doug just got him again, y'all. Yeah, and then you let me find out. I'm thinking about cozying up to old Mocha when she come here, and, and, and maybe she'll give me some of the secrets to y'all in this chat room. Uh, a whole lot going on. Uh, um, yeah, man. Uh, keep in mind that Brandon Peters is from the Bay Area, man. Right. Okay? So, yeah, those people, yeah, them, they're very excited about life right now in their basketball team. Yeah. If they can do no wrong. Have you been to uh, the the new stadium yet? I have not. For the Falcons? I have not. Looking forward to it? I am. Yeah. I am. Um, my plan is to go when Georgia Tech plays Tennessee on the 4th of September. Okay. So they're playing. That's right. They're playing at uh, the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Yep. Yep. It's okay. a Monday night. i um, very excited about it, and I'm very excited about seeing this stadium. I've, I've heard nothing but just amazing things about it. Um, one last thing that I had to ask you is kind of outside of sports, but it is kind of tied to sports. This weekend we have another round – Another tournament for the Amici Cup. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, for people that don't know, Amici means friend. Yep. And but we have this group of guys from our hometown. I think it means friendship. Wait a minute. Whoa. Was that some kind of joke? <laughs> Why'd you the rim shot at the same what it meant? No, no, man. No, I think it would be funny if you let me in on the joke, man. No, there's no joke. There's no joke. And the studio audience, they have a mind See, of their here's own. What, here's what bothers me, man. Because... <laughs> I'm the football guy with the head trauma, and I just think you're picking at me making fun of no, that, No, you're not. You're paranoid. That's what you are. See, and that's where people always go to. So you just be paranoid. <laughs> no, I'm not being paranoid. There's something going on. No, there's nothing going on, man. Seriously. Uh, I'm very excited about the Michi Cup, man. Um, I think I've put in work to strike the ball well. Well, I mean, that's an understatement. Yeah. You play every day. Not every day. But the last couple times I've been out, it hadn't been good. But, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the boys out this season. We're going to hit a large bucket. 
Um, and then I'm going to play again on tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow I'm playing the course that we play on Saturday just to, to <laughs> You getting the tune up ground? To familiarize myself with the course, yes. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Yeah, I'll know how the greens are rolling when we get to the Michigan Cup weekend. Yep, I'll, I'll know. Um, but I, I feel confident about where we're going to go. I, I, I'm a little uh, befuddled because two of the top contenders to compete aren't participating. So this should be a fairly easy victory for me. That's Angelo and who else? And D.Y. Angelo and D.Y. Okay. D.Y.'s not playing either. Okay. So, yeah. The, 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 the two, well, I'm going to tell you this, man. The other two top dogs are out, so, you know. I'm going to tell you this. And you saw I hit that ball a couple weeks ago when we were in Santee. You, you came on strong. Okay. I'm going to win the Amici Cup this weekend and bring it home to Daddy. I'm telling you right now. Daddy? You have something you call Daddy? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Daddy. I'm Daddy. Daddy going to bring home the Amici Cup this weekend. What y'all got going on around here? All right. All right. I'm just telling you right now. I am hitting the ball good. I actually went to the range a couple of days ago, and I hit some balls. I hit it better a couple of days ago than I did when we were in Santee a couple of weeks ago. Well, we feel good about what we're going to do. I know the courses. Heritage is my home course. <laughs> you know, I, I play out there weekly. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to bed best tomorrow just to kind of walk things around and check it out. And, yeah, I'm putting in work, man. I'll, I'll, I'll go hit at both ranges this week before we tee off on Saturday, man. And I'm going to win this title, man. It'll be my fourth straight, my 11th overall. It will push me ahead of everyone else in titles to be the lone member of the Michi Cup that has 11 wins. I'm very excited about it. All right. We actually have a trophy with different nameplates on it based on. I'll give you pictures to post. <laughs> i give you pictures to post. I'm on the cup too now. Yeah, like one time and accidentally. Both the, the two people you played wouldn't finish it or something. You just won by default. Yeah. You're not the golfer for that you used to be, man. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I ain't got no time, man. No, I'm, no, you know, yeah, trying no, to survive out here, man. I'm right. trying to keep my head above water like good times, Check, man. Chickens back there. I got pigs back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what's going on, man. I get it, man, but I, I applaud you for the hustle, man. It's all good. Chillastnewsradio.com is about to blow. I just feel it. Yeah, I, I think so, it. man. I feel it. And so, we're about to win this lottery, this Powerball. Right. So, what we need is, if you're listening right oh, now. What's the email address again? Well, real quick for the PayPal. Uh, for the PayPal, it's uh. Let's do it on air. I want. I want. Well, you know what? I I've been telling the listeners you can go to the Show dot com and there's an actual button there and it connects to PayPal. You want to? You want me to just give you the PayPal address? Yes, that's exactly what I just asked okay. you to do five minutes ago. <laughs> it is uh, it is uh. So, and see, that's what this whole delay was about. No, you don't know no, it. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, this ninja don't know it. Mm, oh, SME. That's it. SME. SME underscore 1990 at Yahoo.com. At Yahoo.com. All right. 650, right? 650. $6.50. All right. And uh, I said I wasn't going to mention it again. Uh, you needed to hear the last show, but I will mention it one more time. If you want to get down and buy these Powerballs as a group, you know, the Stews and their listeners. What's today's day? 23rd? Uh, yes. I'm in, man. You just bought it? You just sent it? Let me see if I get the little alert. Yep. Ah! Yeah. Oh, you got a little alias. I see. <laughs> What's that little, that's a little business that you use? Oh, no. Okay. That was somebody else. Okay. I see you. You said $7. Why'd you say $7? Right now, I have <laughs> controlling interest over everyone else. <laughs> I have invested 50 cents more than everyone else. So, so what does that equal? Another $50 million? Well, it, it, equal, you? it equals more than everyone else should get yeah. after we split. Actually, I think this kind of disqualifies you from the money <laughs> because I gave specific instructions on 650 to track this thing. Oh, gosh. Um, but last time, man, last time I'm going to do this. If you want to get down with the group of players, uh, the stews and the listeners. We got numbers? We got numbers? How many people we got? Um, I haven't looked yet. You haven't looked. I'm pretty sure we probably got over 50 people that sent money. Boy, we got 50. That's a good number. We got over yeah. 50 people. Each person sent in 650, so that's three tickets apiece <sighs> that we'll be able to buy. And all we need is just one perfect number. One perfect number. With the power ball. With the power ball. <laughs> that power ball is like a damn wrench, listen, monkey man, wrench. Listen, man. Somebody's going to get you it. You get all the damn numbers right, but then you got to get the one power ball right. Somebody's going to get it. Yeah. Somebody gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah, somebody's We're gonna, gonna get, get it. it. Yes. We're gonna win this money. Somebody's gonna get it, man. We're gonna win this money. And I'll never set foot back in this country again. Uh 
so lastly, one going last to time, Africa. Go go to, go to right. I, I'm definitely looking at some land over in Africa in the motherland. Walking around in dashikis and Jesus sandals every day. Right, Jesus. Um, so go to the, to the, to the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Uh, halfway down to the right, there's a donate button. Donate six dollars and fifty cents. We will use that money to buy tickets. Three tickets today. You need to do it by three p.m. Eastern time. After three p.m., you are ass out, like they say in the lane. <laughs> And uh, I'm actually going to take pictures of all the numbers and post it in the Two Live Stews Radio Facebook chat group later on this evening. After we sign each individual ticket, right? What do you mean sign each individual ticket? Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, one time for my folks at Halcyon Organics, man. HalcyonEssentials.com. Check them out for their lotions and their creams and all the kind of good stuff that comes to, with the medicinal marijuana to uh, help you get over any ailments and aching pains that you may have to deal with through the course of a day, man. Yeah. Shouts out to Halcyon Organics. So Chief Rock and Vern from Jersey. You know Vern from Jersey, He's right? a troublemaker. He's, he's, a bad, he's, he's just, yeah. He's a troublemaker. Vern, talk about if I win, I don't have to share my money when I win. Just like a GDI, right. just like a just, darn individual. Just, right. We're trying to do a team thing here. Right. And Vern talking about he's going to win the money by himself. Yeah, no. That's fine, Vern. That's fine. What, are you going to mail him the ticket or something? Right. It'll be enough to spread the love, man. Chief Rocker, don't trust Doug with your tickets. Man, shut up, Vern. You from damn New Jersey. Everybody know people from New Jersey will steal a penny off a damn man eye. Did he think changing his name from Chief Rocker to Vern was going <laughs> to... No, it is. It's, him? it's Chief Rocker, Jersey Vern. We used to call him Vern from Jersey, <laughs> Chief Rocker. You're right. That's that New York, New Jersey shit. This shit was one of the dumbest names on the, that I've ever heard in anybody's chat room before. All right, so I'm not exactly sure, and I should have answered that question earlier, who comes on next after us here on the Ryan Stewart Show. Um, uh, it's supposed to be the same schedule as normal on Thursday. Because we're doing your show today, that's scheduled for Thursday. So Jeff Fox or the microwave is coming up next here on 2 Live Stews Radio.com. Somebody said nobody's going to win today, which means the next time the drawing comes out, it'll be over a billion dollars. Nah, I want to just go ahead and get it over yeah. right now. Win this money today. <laughs> We need to win the day. One time for everybody, man, yes. that participated in today's show, man. Yeah. Who's the staff back in the uh, in the magic room? One Whole time for y'all, man. Yeah, man. Love all y'all, man. Dwayne Bassan, Gerald Oliveri. Shouts out to the entire staff of 2LiveStudentsRadio.com. Y'all enjoy the fight this weekend, man. Next Thursday, 1 o'clock, same time, same network. 2LiveStudentsRadio.com, your boy, One Live Stew. Blessings over burns, man. Whatever you put your efforts and your time and your thoughts into... It's what should favor, so blessings over birth. All right, so my show will be back on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, live on the DougStewartShow.com. Y'all be careful in them streets. Talk to you Friday. Peace. I'm a Q. All I need is myself for a line. I'm a Q. In the state I go to, I'm good. I'm a Q. I hold up the birds on the town. I'm a Q. Run out of oil, got crown. I'm a Q. Scoop up a dime, set it out. I'm a Q. Oh, sleepy six, up the cake. I'm a Q. I'm a Q. I'm a Q. You know how it is when you roll with the Qs. You know how it is when you roll with the Qs. You know how it is when you roll with the Qs. You know how it is when you roll with the Qs. I just want to live my life. I'm a Q. Q, sci-fi till I die. I'm a Q. Atomic dog get my weight. And I'm a Q. If I have a little boy, he don't play as cute. I'ma have him in the cut, getting good. I'ma cute. Everybody in the hood knows daddy is a cute. I had to do a song that was good before the cute. I'ma cute. I'ma cute. When I was knee high, I dreamed to be a cute. And now I'm 25, damn right. I'ma cute. And a step show one day. I'ma cute. Yeah, when we get second place, I'ma cute. Break my LB, dust them off, I'm a Q Drop chicken on the floor, brush it off, I'm a Q Oh, I am still out, hanging with the Q's I'm a Q, I'm a Q You know how it is